Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have. Hey yo, man, we got the arrest we was looking for. All right, we we got the arrest we was looking for. Uh, some people were looking for something else. Yeah, you know I mean, but we are gonna get into that in a heartbeat, man. We also got um, uh, we got yo, we got yo, we got finesse two times from Mob Ties, man, and what he had to do, man. You know what I'm saying? When it comes down to Atlanta, you know what I mean? Uh, we got uh, yo, man, we got record companies buying streams. Say it ain't so, man. Apparently, Detective Six Nine was on point with his investigation, man. We got NBA young boy um telling Roddy Rich, yeah, I mean, Roddy Rich, Roddy Rebel, man, what's going on? again? Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. Hey, yo, if this your first time to the channel, man, be sure to hit that like button if you feel any part of the content. We definitely appreciate that. Hey, yo, that notification bell is waiting for your task. So go on and give it a tap. And that subscribe button is waiting for your subscription, man. So go on and touch that too, girl. Keep your eyes on the road. Keep your eyes on the damn road. You know what I'm saying? Folks is looking backwards and driving forwards. Anyway, um, check this out, man. Roddy Rebel showed up on uh, the Math Hoffa show, right? And he made a very interesting statement concerning the death of King Vaughn. Hey, yo, take a listen. Right. For me? So it's like everybody that's dying nowadays because it's, n it's, n it's no nigga to be like, nah, my fault. I'm sorry. Yo, get hot. Right. When, 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 when King Vaughn died, Little Tim nigga, he had to get out the car and start squeezing right away. Right. You already got your joint. Yo, back the fuck up. What y'all doing with? Yeah, back with my bro real quick. Right. For me, like, he could have went die right off the rip. But his mind off the rip went to kill. How you went to kill? How you how much hate you had already to kill this man? Right. You feel what I'm saying? Was it the drugs? You had the upper hand to just clear the scene and just say yo chill. You had the upper hand was just like, your back niggas up and get your dog out of here. Right. But you already chose the murder route. When niggas going wicked to be like, yo, let's like chill, like I suck. Now, uh, ho hopefully that joint played, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, that, that man said, quote, everybody that's dying out there, it's, be it's because there's no ninja to be like, nah, my fault, I'm sorry. When King Von died, that little Tim ninja, he didn't have to get out the car and start squeezing right away. You already got yours drawn. Close quote. Come on, bro. Like, look, 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 man. It's okay to disagree, right? That's part of healthy conversation, isn't it? Roddy, you off on that, bro. Like, way off. Like, super off. Way, way, way off. You know what I'm saying? Miles off, bro. Like, blind leading the blind type off. You know what I'm saying? All kinds of off. Crazy off. Bro, how the hell you gonna talk about it like that man ain't graduate from fighting once he caught not one, not two, not four, not six, but seven bodies. You know what I'm saying? This man surpassed the level of fighting. He done graduated from fighting. You know what I mean? Once he started catching bodies, he graduated from fight. Ain't no more fighting. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no hole up. You know what I mean? Didn't he say the only person he lost a fight to, he popped? Ain't no fair fight with a person like that. That man employed the strategies and tactics of a hunter. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, um, was not the word is not psych psychotic. It's another word that they use, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking American psycho type stuff. You know what I'm saying? He employed the tactics of a hunter with people, with humans that he had a problem with on the internet. And, and then he gloated about it. You, ain't, you don't remember the post with the seven skulls? Man, uh-uh. Look, I'm not talking about him directly, right? But, because, you know, I don't like to talk about, you know what I'm saying, after they, but look, if, if I knew someone that hypothetically killed five people and they hopped out and started swinging on me, I'm going to need a little gym to hop out and fix that problem ASAP. Yeah, you follow what I'm saying, man? Listen, 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 listen. Murder is wrong. You got me? Self-defense? Yes, please. Okay? If I need some help, I don't mind getting it. You know what I mean? If I'm catching the hands, I don't mind somebody hopping out the side and putting something in you. You know what I mean? Just to let you know, and nah, I ain't going down like that. I mean, come on, Roddy. You got to be realistic with this thing, man. You know what I'm saying? This man done caught bodies galore. And he, and he raps about it. I'll be damned if I am the lyrics of a ninja rap after he murdered me. You see what I'm saying, man? That's insane. I mean, listen, listen, listen. <laughs> NBA Youngboy uh, heard what Roddy Rebels had to say. And he posted, quote, <laughs> I see why ninjas are relevant today. Be trying to make all the sense. Thinking uh, what they saying real, but sounding stupid as F. Just mind your business and stop the violence. I said, damn, bro. You know what I'm saying? 
<laughs> Listen, man, that's funny. NBA young boy ended his statement uh, saying stop the violence. You know what I mean? He's kind of saying what Roddy was saying. He clearly didn't love everything that Roddy said, right? But they both ultimately seem to agree that things don't necessarily have to result in cannons being blasted every time folks disagree. You see what I'm saying? Here's the funny thing. I always consider this part. When people argue, right, and they fight over women and stuff like that, you know and one dies and the other gets locked up, you know what I'm saying, for, for, for murder for the next 30 years, I always think about the woman that they fought over and killed over and got locked up over, cuddled up next to some new ninja. You know what I'm saying? Who's telling her what he ain't going to do for her. And, and she loves him for it. You know what I mean? Like, I always be thinking about, every time I think about, like, when people... You know what I'm saying? Go to jail, commit murder, and all this other stuff. And, and, and then the person that they did it on behalf of is like at a party. You know what I'm saying? Enjoying themselves, doing stupid stuff. You know what I mean? Uh, you know what we're recording right now. Let me let me just let me just send this message out saying, man, recording right now. Recording right now. Right now. Uh, check this out, man. We'll be at over here, man. I had some, you know what I mean? All right, look, 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 look. Didn't we do a story on um, this topic a couple of days ago, man? I, I'm almost positive we covered this. Yeah, yeah, I did because Takashi 69. Listen, man. Atlantic Records have now been. What's my time? Like? All right. Atlantic Records has been caught and accused of potentially buying streams. Buying streams. Pathetic. These people are pathetic. I believe, people are getting dumber believe it believe you me people are getting dumber and they're getting caught easy easy uh they got caught buying streams for don Tolliver, lil uzi vert roddy rich and a boogie with a hoodie you know what i'm saying which is jacked up because that would mean folks would now look at those artists like oh so they ain't really being listened to like the numbers claim they are being listened to you see what i'm saying someone posted quote atlantic records is under fire after fans discovered blatant view botting and bot comments on their artists recent music videos and when you look at the comments it's nothing but a look when you look at the comments it's nothing but a bunch of stupid emojis dumb emojis you know what i'm saying monkey emojis and cat emojis and check marks and holes in the ground emojis you see what i'm saying it's almost like someone went to a country that was financially like you know what i'm saying strapped for cash but had like cell phones and YouTube and they gave them like 50 to 20, like 20, 50 dollars, you know, which probably translates to like 150 over there and told them when this video drops, just hit the comment section and post anything. You know what I'm saying? It'll, look, it'll get the song in the algorithm and you'll get your 20 bucks. Uh, uh, speaking of which, um, <laughs> yo, feel free to drop a comment. You know what I'm saying? Because clearly it works. It helps. You see what I'm saying? Drop a comment. Drop a like. Let us know that, you know what I'm saying? You love, but drop a real comment though. If you don't want to drop a real comment, drop a monkey emoji. You know what I'm saying? Uh, check this out, man. Um, no, drop a drop drop two emojis for me. Drop a belt and a monkey. You know what I'm saying? You like what you mean, like spanking a monkey? <laughs> it, it, no, that's not no. Oh, okay, all right. My bad. Crash. My, my fault. My bad. I, I, let me let me try to do better. Okay. Um. Listen, listen, listen. I'm gonna try to do better. I can't always be perfect, man. You know what I'm saying? Give me a day at least. You like, but Sunday, bro? I didn't look. I missed church today, man. My fault, man. Apologies. Um, listen, though. Listen, listen, listen. Apparently, um, I guess hitting the comment section with the, these those false emojis, it gets the song in the algorithm, and you know what I'm saying. Meanwhile, the label makes thousands once they're in the algorithm. But li listen, doing that. The artist won't have any real fans. Or, or, is it the psychology of the act? The psychology being, look, a lot of people clearly like this artist. Maybe you just don't see it. Seven million people can't be wrong. <laughs> oh, you think the song is whack? Well, maybe the problem is you. You see what I'm saying? Look, academics even threw salt on the wounds, right? And academics posted, DJ academics, who I am not, may I? I am not, and I'm not trying to follow DJ Academics neither, man. You know what I mean? Uh, the man did create this lane, though. I'm going to respect him for that. He created this lane, social media, hip-hop, news, and stuff like that. I believe he created the platform. A lot of folks just walked on it. You know what I'm saying? DJ Academics posted, damn, Atlantic Records went from being hella lit a few years ago to being ish. They literally threw in the towel on marketing and promoting their artists. They just wow. They just buying wild amounts of fake views, which making their artists look even worse. See? See? I, I didn't I didn't read this comment before I said I'm just reading it now. I'm reading it the for the first time with you. You see what I'm saying? Academics also said 
All the smart marketing folks and ARs left Atlantic and all headed for Capital by top of by top of 2023. Atlantic artist Yak and Youngboy also headed for Capital. Atlantic said F it after one of music group went public. They trying to save dollars to look good for investors, but they artists are losing. I heard after WMG announced this IPO, several execs were up for some damn near nine figure digit paydays, which helped incentivize labels like Atlantic Records to be cheap as cuff. Rely on old catalog rather than keep spending to push promote new ish. Profit makes stock price increase. I say all that to yeah, what you saying, academics? Because you're losing me, bro. I'm simple, man. He said, I say all that to say, I pray for the rest of you ninjas still on Atlantic Records, unless you like top, 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 top priority. Which probably like is two to four artists. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You ain't top priority. You listening on Atlantic? You ain't top priority, fam. You know you're not. You know it. You can go look at yourself in the mirror. Now tell me, does that look like a top priority ninja to you? You know what I'm saying? You know it ain't. You like that? Oh, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. Yeah, yeah. You ain't. Let me do my dad going shout outs, man. For somebody hit me. Do I got shout outs on deck. I know I do. All right, listen, listen, listen. Um, Albert Williams say, yo, celeb, you seem happier today. Hope you in good spirits. <laughs> yeah, 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 nah, yeah, yeah. I can tell by the amount of jokes thrown out there. Hey, look, <laughs> I'm clowning every day, man. I, I don't think I had any any more particular jokes yesterday, but I guess I got to go listen to yesterday's video. You know what I'm saying? Make sure that ain't the guy that used to live two doors down from me, man, because I don't really want to see him. Uh, you like, wait, didn't you say something about getting with your neighbors? Yeah, but that's the neighbor I didn't like. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Anyway, uh, Dapo O went, came through and said, the way you talk is very similar to DJ Academics. Is that on purpose? Nah, nah, nah. I mean, people, listen, I told y'all before and I'm going to tell y'all again. I heard of DJ Academics. I never listened to his stuff till after I started the channel. After I started the channel and I realized people kept comparing me, I said, let me go and hear this dude out. And then I listened to him and I was like, oh, I, I can see what people say. You know what I mean? But that don't mean I'm trying to copy. I mean, who, like, why would you copy somebody? That's... Like, I don't, I don't think you should copy a person on purpose like that. That's ridiculous. You know what I mean? No, I know. Who, who am I fooling? I used to watch David Letterman, and I was like, well, I'm going to copy his interview style. Check this out, man. Murr84 says, Celeb, you had me roll it every time you say, you smoke crack, don't you? Hey, look, y'all know where that where that came from? I know y'all got to, look, my day one's got to know where that came from. Hopefully, I can find a, a clip for you. Source, can you show the clip of uh, what I'm, you smoke crack, don't you? I mean, come on, fam. <laughs> Get it together. Are you, are you, what, are we, what are we trying to do? You ain't, you ain't scared of nothing. <laughs> There's nothing that should stop you from doing what, <laughs> what you're supposed to do. You smoke crack, don't you? Well, then damn, then go ahead and get the vaccine. <laughs> anyway, I'm not getting that vaccine. But you smoke crack. Taz Gully said, so you honestly want me to bring you some? Oh, he's talking about Kodak. Taz said, um, Kodak is saying to the girl, you honestly want me to bring you somewhere to feed you, house you, clothe you, and the only thing you've given me is a piece of your already used pie? I know a lot of women are offended right now. I was going to say because they got used pie, but I'm not going to say it. Um, you're like, oh, you're used to? Yeah, we used to. Yes, this key has been in a lot of holes. <laughs> like, that's what the guys are saying. That's not me. I don't I do not do that. That's nasty. Anyway, um, uh, Taz said... That woman is giving me leftovers. I thought it was only fair to give you the same. Oh, he said, yeah, 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 yeah. Because Kodak is essentially saying, the girl was complaining about getting leftovers, but she ready to give Kodak leftover. Leftover buttons. Miss me with the leftovers, sis. That's what, look, that's what we need to be saying to each other now. Like, yo, miss me with the leftovers, man. I don't want no damn leftovers. Some old used, my bad. Alchemy Lion said, why the hell would you do the tape if you didn't want it to be released? Talking about NBA Youngboy. Sounded to me like NBA knew Rondo gonna get hurt behind that. How you holler stop the violence when you don't want to start the violence? Just because you start something don't mean that you don't want it stopped. Uh, they said that the guy that started internet porn um, became a Christian and was like, I wish I can take back what I did. And he tried to create something to, to stop internet porn, but the snowball is already too big. You know what I'm saying? Uh, okay, here's my last shout out, man. I promise. Okay. Uh, Quaida Cook said, bro, you really sad if you celebrating that ish. You lost my guy. Talk about Thanksgiving, man. Get the hell away from me, man. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, um, let me, let me, what, who, I got to talk about what you said tomorrow. Um, what you gonna call it? Charlie Mack said, why do people, why do people feel the need to add to someone's words? Kyrie said one thing 
And uh, whoever's making this content just have to say, no, this is what he really mean. Face ass. Uh, Charlie Mac. I mean, I'm over here like, man, I forgot they got slow people out here, man. Listen, listen, listen. Man. Some folks don't understand the concept of like, um, uh, what's the word? What's the word? It's not irony. It's like sarcasm. You see what I'm saying? Like, you don't understand sarcasm? Like, here's the thing. You know, there are there are lots of people out there, right? That they 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 really can't pick up on sarcasm and stuff like that. They think that the statements said are real. You know what I mean? But they, they don't understand like there might be a joke in it. What's the word that they use um, for Grand Theft Auto? Who cares? Listen, um, yeah, I'm mad I, I gave Charlie Mack attention. Listen, after the death of Takeoff, right? The big concern was that his death could have potentially have started a war in the South, right? Any Anyone coming from Houston, um, uh, I feel bad. Charlie, my bad. I didn't mean to disrespect you like that. After the death of Takeoff, right? You know, the big thing was, yo, man, there might be a war in the South in the whole nine yards. You know what I'm saying? And 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 <laughs> that concern seems even more real, considering Mob Ties artist Finesse Two Times, who had a show planned in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? It was scheduled for last night. Miami Lounge, uh, which was the venue that was hosting the show, it was supposed to um, go down in North Cross, Georgia. Okay, they posted that Finesse Two Times canceled his show due to quote unquote security issues. <laughs> Look, that was a wise decision because the emotions concerning takeoff have nowhere near dissipated. Yeah, you know I mean, and the, and the mob ties artists showing up promptly after in in Georgia, it might just be asking for it. You see what I'm saying? I was actually shocked. Like, and finally. I don't want to say too much on that. But here's what I will say. The man who has allegedly um, been accused of killing Takeoff <laughs> has risen from the dead and now has been arrested. Because remember, it was believed that the man was promptly killed a week later. I mean, I think I, I did the story on that. I was like, yeah, they, they said they, they killed uh, Lil' Cam. And then uh, he kept posting on social media letting everybody know that he was Jackie Chan alive and kicking. You know what I'm saying? Um, now, Lil' Cam uh, was recently arrested in Houston for unlawfully carrying a weapon. And according to WAT 100, the big squeeze is on the way. Take a listen. It's a big Man, girl. that ain't, that oh, yeah. ain't even, that's just to get it in custody. Yeah, that's intimidating. <laughs> that's for the squeeze. Yeah, get it. But we got you what we want you. Man, All right, the, the other shit is extra. I think old boy don't get it. They ain't finna start running they play. Yeah, yeah. I just said it the other day. I said, bro, them hard wide cameras in there, them folks is probably already some other shit going on. They gonna let shit close out hmm. and they gonna start grabbing. And when they start snatching, they ain't gonna stop. Hmm. Fact, hmm. It's gonna be too late. Don't know it. It's just gonna happen all at one time. Bam. Hey, yeah. they yeah. Yeah. And yeah. if they yeah. grab yeah. Jay yeah. Briss Jr., he telling on everybody. Yeah, 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 yeah. The idea now is that um, uh, you know, with them arresting him, and you know what I'm saying, they catch him on something. They must have they must have already been watching him for a minute. Cause they already everybody knew they was coming for yellow hoodie. Either the streets was gonna get him or the or the police. And I'm I think um it's better that the police get him because now they can really do they can really put the squeeze on him. And by putting the squeeze on him, they really narrow down like because no one believes that Lil' Kim was the mastermind. <laughs> yeah, you know I'm saying like nobody is believing like he was the brains behind what happened. They believe like it is now believed that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we got the dude that we needed to get. And um, here's where it's going to really get interesting, man. <sighs> um, all the additional crime that will be related. Look, look, you know what's coming. Y'all know what's coming. Y'all know what's coming. And um, I mean, I think the idea was it was believed that like, you know, what I'm saying the dudes that everybody thinks is behind it was going to pop little cam a long time ago. You know what I'm saying? But they let this man ride. You know what I mean? And maybe maybe the, the situation is, yo, man, you know what happens to your fam if you say something. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I thought I I thought I saw something that said the, the kid's mom's house. Well, I'm not going to even go into that because I can't even verify that. But um, I don't know, man. I mean, we all know what's about to go down. You know what I mean? And um, if it's going, look, <laughs> if it's going down, let's get it over with. You know what I mean? Like, let's just, let's just wrap this bad boy up and just get the whole thing over with, man. Speaking of wrapping it, the bad boy up, man, let's wrap this bad boy up. Hey, yo, man, we appreciate you coming through, man. Hey, yo, be sure to like. Be sure to subscribe. Yo, man, when I say that, I mean that, man. You know what I mean? Uh, look, like, <laughs> we be having 60,000 views and, like, 12 likes. What's up? What up with that? Y'all don't really like this content like that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
Um, uh, yeah, if you, you appreciate the hustle, man, you know what I mean? Because Sauce does a lot of work, man. Sauce does a whole lot of work putting these videos together. T like, right now, the time is, um, uh, right now it's about th uh, 2 o'clock. It's 2 o'clock right, right now where I'm at. And, and notice the time you're seeing this video. That's how long it takes for Sauce to do the hard work. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, be sure to like. And, um, if you ain't subscribed, man, be sure to subscribe, man. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. Your source for Celeb News.